Not every successful entrepreneur starts their business from scratch. There's plenty of potential in buying an already established business. In the case of Noreen Bevan, she bought the business she was already working with. Basically, I got thrown into the business. I was new to Toronto. I grew up in Port Colborne, Ontario, and new to the industry and had no experience, and basically learned the business on my own. Uh, the gentleman who owned the company originally uh, was operating the business really on his own, selling most of the products on his own. So as I got involved in it, I really enjoyed the business. It got to be at a stage where he decided to retire. Or, so I was offered uh, to purchase the business out of commissions uh, up to 49%, which I did. And then in 1993, I bought uh, the company outright. The business changed when I took it over. It was basically flogging furniture. And my idea was to create more of a contract, more project-oriented office dealership. Bevan's vision for the company took it in a whole new direction. Selling furniture turned into the design and installation of office work environments, giving Summer League clientele added value with the services they could now receive. Simply put, it was selling more to the same customer. In Bevan's case, buying the business she was working at meant buying into an industry she already knew. I think the advantage of working in the business you're going to buy is you get to know every part of the business. And I probably had worked every position in the business by the time I had purchased it. And I thought, how great would this be to have control over my destiny? Sure, it's risk, but I think I was pretty naive to the risk. Allowing the right employees to buy into the business is a great incentive. It's proven so successful here at Summerlee that Bevan and her partners have passed this opportunity on to their employees. It's a, it's a great way to encourage people that don't have the, the backing, the financial backing, and also they're learning the business as, as they're going along. Our succession plan is oriented very much like that, where the company, if you work hard and you, you can generate the, uh, the business, it will pay off for you. Since Bevan has changed the direction of Summerlee, it's grown from five employees to over 30, and now operates from a 21,000 square foot facility. Armed with a new business plan and an advisory board, the Summerlee Group has plans to triple their business in the next three years. Developing the business has been a real education and I think the, I think if you spoke to any of our employees they would say um, we change continually and I think that that's what businesses fail to do. They fail to recognize that they need to change with the times and I find our industry are slow to change and with technology changing our business on a uh, daily. Um, and our clients are very intelligent about what they're purchasing because it's all on, on the web now. They can research any type of furniture or any type of dealership. We've grown because we have done that and also the people that you have as part of your uh, organization. We consider them knowledge leaders so everybody's got a different interest, everybody's got a different skill set and that helps uh, the business along. You know, I can't know everything about our daily running of the business, but there's a lot of bright people that we have here and, and to have an environment where they're encouraged to contribute to the knowledge of the business is great. Noreen Bevan has proven that success in business doesn't start with money, but hard work and knowledge. Experience has shaped her opinion of a good entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs succeed, I think, when they have the, the skills to have great employees. And I think that's the basis of business. And I, re I realized over the years that some people don't agree with that and their businesses are not uh, successful. So the ability to manage people well. Um, also, the risk. You need to take risk. I've taken a lot of personal risk. Uh, owning a business, it's, it's not easy uh, because I may have 30 people in this office, but that's 30 people, their husbands, their, their wives, their kids. It affects a lot of people and I don't take that lightly. Uh, very different than I think you know, 25 years ago when people were running it as a di dictatorship and it was all about the money and 
it's, it's really not about that. If I'm very good at what I'm doing, which is leading the company, then the money comes afterwards. But quite frankly, to walk out in my office and see a lot of happy people really thriving in their environment and empowered to do what they're doing, um, that's truly satisfying for me. Big Fish Video Productions.